Welcome to Jay Plays Indie Games, and this is Two Minute RPG, a roguelike RPG sort of exploration game in which you only have two statistics gold and turns. You have 120 turns, and every movement takes a certain amount of them. Your goal in this game is to amass as much gold as possible, defeat as many dragons as you can, kill the Black Knight, rescue the princess and do as many other heroic deeds as possible. So we're gonna get started here. I'm at the top left and I'm going to be moving to the right. Uh, here's a dragon I can kill. You can see this is how combat goes. Every time you press space, you strike your opponent. Depending on the strength of your opponent, they have a certain number of hits that they can take and that's how many turns they take away from you. Which, as I said before, is your only statistic. All right, as we move down, we can collect gold. We could also explore these caves. These caves, um, it only takes a half move to move through the caves and they get you around fairly quickly to random places on the map, which can be very good. But, you can see this villager to our right who might give us a better quest. So, as we go over to the village, he tells us, I'll show you where an ancient treasure is. So now we're gonna hunt for the ancient treasure. What's this? This cave looks a little bit different than the other caves. We're gonna go in it. Or we could collect that gold. I think we're gonna collect the gold and kill this dragon. He's in between us and the ancient treasure. He's quite powerful, he takes four hits. All you have to do to strike the dragons is to press space at the right time. It's a very simple mechanic that I like very much. And we go down. I would be remiss if I didn't say that this was a free game. The download link's going to be in the description. Uh, I recommend you pick this up and play it for a little while. It's a great way to kill 10 minutes. It's actually far more fun than you would expect from something this minimalistic. All right, and we're headed down into the ancient secret treasure cave. All right, as you can see, every time I press space, we move, lose half a turn, which is fine. I don't mind losing half a turn. Oh, and we've got a, a big bad in front of us. He takes five hits to kill. I believe he's a bandit or something. I didn't see what he was actually called. But 50 gold, and we can press on. Deeper and deeper into the cave. I like minimalistic games like this. I I take something like this over, you know, in all honesty, you know, like an Oblivion or a Skyrim any day. I have fun with those games, but I'm not into the graphics as deeply as many other players, and really I don't have the uh, the hardware to run a lot of those kind of games, so having stuff like this out there just to mess with, something to play with, it's, it's a lot of fun. And we've killed another bandit, gained some more gold, and now we're going to go deeper. It looks like this cave is going to be uh, absorbing quite a lot of our, of our turns. But we're gaining gold on the way, and that's that's our true goal. Thwack. Thwack. And uh, yes, I have played Skyrim in those games. I don't consider this better than those games by any stretch, but, you know, for someone like me, I like this style. I love roguelikes. I like, um, I like doing this. You know, strategically planning my movements, gaining gold, and retrieving an ancient treasure. I believe is what I just did. I just discovered an ancient treasure. I only have 61 turns left though, so I, I doubt as I'll be able to do anything else remarkable. Perhaps I can kill a black knight. Please save us from the black... Oh, I see him. Okay, he's over here. Perhaps we are the hero who can handle the black knight. Oh, it's moving faster than it was before. You wanted it. I'm the Black Knight. Step away from my path or you'll see my rage. I wonder if I can kill him. I have 50 turns left. Perhaps I can. As long as I don't fail any attacks. A failed attack just uh, takes away a turn from you. Which is very important. It's your only resource. Oh my. He's actually quite tough. Quite a tough Black Knight that we're facing. Oh, but he's dead. Okay. Having handled the Black Knight, perhaps we should, um, we should move forward. Oh, another dragon. The people celebrated and gave me 200 more gold. I'm quite rich at this point. I have lots of gold. I've been, I've been looking out for myself pretty well. The Black Knight was a nightmare. Thank you. Where should I go with my few remaining turns? 
perhaps into this cave. Oh, and to fight a dragon! I didn't want to fight a dragon in this cave, but our choices are limited. We're gonna come out over here. Oh, some gold right above us. This is quite, this is very much the best I've ever done on this game. Uh, and a final attack. Okay, very good. I tend to do much better when I'm recording for some reason. It's strange. Pick up some free gold. Kill a dragon or two with my remaining time. I like it. Sure, I'm going to die one day, but I'm going to have slain many a dragon on the way to that death. Move to the right. There are mountains here. Perhaps I can explore one final cave. Ooh, this, this dragon might be the end of me, though, depending on the depth of this cave. I don't know. I don't mind fighting a black dragon as my last true act as an adventurer. And I have fallen. Timbok has fallen. In his long history as a hero in the land of Timbor, he has defeated 12 dragons, has explored one cave, and earned 2,916 gold. But the most important thing is that his legacy will live forever. He has fought with the evil Black Knight and saved us all in a fearless battle. He found the ancient treasure. Many people have been looking for that. Treasure since it was buried 200 years ago. All right, so this has been Two Minute RPG. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description if you wanna try this out. It's, a, it's actually a quite fun game. All right, thanks for watching.